everyone this is Nibiru Watcher it is December 26 2018 and I've got a huge eye-opener for us today and help us to understand why you see the strange things in the sky and today I would like to dress purple skies again and let's get another perspective on this so you can see what's happening to our planet from space thanks to NASA it's hiding all this stuff. So Galactic Hurricane subscriber. Hey Jeff, following your channel for a while. I've got some interesting stuff in those parabolic lenses. There's a video from the ISS a while ago seeming something strange at 2145 minutes in the video. Looks like glass spheres. Glass spheres, right? That creates cast a strange rainbow on the earth by those spheres. Watch and use it if necessary. So let's click on the link. Thank you for the permission, Galactic Hurricane. We go to Galactic Hurricanes channel, and there it is, Galactic Hurricanes footage. So, it's too difficult to show you the purple skies in the video, so I made a copy of it, and let's watch it together, because I can fast forward it and save us some time. <laughs> Alright, so here we have the, the Earth we're looking at the earth from the upside down here comes the sunrise and let's just watch this abnormal sunrise with a strange halo and I find it people are so asleep that they don't even question the halo that they see every day sometimes they see it sometimes you don't so why is it there well it's because there's a lens in front of the sun simulator let's watch this thing rise it flashes I want you to sh to show you some serious fakery. The sun simulator is in the same altitude as the, as the space station. It is in a different orbital path and a different orbital speed is in an orbit that is in a heliocentric orbit or a heliosynchronous orbit, the orbit that is always in the path of the sun, so it's always underneath the sun. The real sun is still there. It's the yellow sun we always see. This thing has been built and a project since 1983, funded by the Strategic Defense Initiative. They've been building it because that's when they knew that this system was coming in. So it's if you could build a space station, you could build a sun simulator hovering in the orbit, a sun synchronous orbit. So check this out. All right, <laughs> you guys see something wrong with this already? Does that even look like a normal sun? Uh, why is it flashing off and on like that? There's nothing normal about that. Ain't, I tell you what, I'll tell you, you could spot a troll. A troll will say, normalize everything. Oh, it's the shutter, it's the camera. It's always something else just to say anything normal. They are paid trolls to normalize everything, to keep the sheep asleep, lest they panic. I'm not here to create panic. I'm here to make you aware. It really annoys me to no end that people dare to lie to you and tell you that this is normal. Look at that. The flashing, flickering sun. It's lighting up the whole earth, people. That is not CGI. It is for real. Look. Okay. <laughs> we had enough of that. That's not normal. Wait, so it, a little later on, the sun stabilizes, right? We can see clouds in the earth. We're, again, we're looking at this thing upside down. I'll tell you what. Here we start to see the real purpose of this thing. Okay, so... It merges here. There's a set of lenses here. Do you see how this suddenly appeared? And it gets longer and changes shape, this light. And then it appears right there. Do you see that? You see how that just appears. Okay, so it's not something from the camera. There's a lot of things to look at here. Notice we have the red light on the left and purple light on the right, splitting the lights. There's a lens up there that's causing this effect. They're hiding Planet X. Those lenses are to use the Rochester clothing method to do this. And the next thing I want to point out is... 
Notice how the guy that on the space station, it zooms in on it. They're highly interested in this thing. I'll tell you why. Because they do not want that thing hitting the surface of the Earth. We want some chemtrails and fake clouds or man-made weather to keep that from hitting the ground. We do not want to see what we saw in Sacramento, which I'm going to show you next. This beam of light with red and purple hues on it. Now, I actually believe that the red and blue Kachina gaseous planets emit their own low light. Blue light and red light. And what colors do you get if they eclipse each other? If red and blue make purple. And I believe these two objects are have literally eclipsed our sun. Now how would you hide a solar eclipse without the whole world knowing about it? Well, you put up a fake light to shine like the sun to keep a light shining in the sky like we saw over here. So we have a partial eclipse over the red and blue planet eclipsing the sun. We have a halo with a fake sun between us and the planet keeping a light shining like the sun and we get those dark halos. I've been saying this and that's a giant lens in front of it and it's coming off. I, if you want more detail on that I just want to show you some perspective here. So, and here we can see the, I'm not going to call it a phenomenon. Phenomenon's almost uh, either, you might be willfully ignorant, but a lot of times they just give it a name like phenomenon. Right? And look how this thing grows. So it's, again, it's not on the camera. It's not a refraction inside the lens. And again, NASA zooms in on it. Look how they zoom in on this. You can't do this with the space station, with this footage. They zoomed in on it. Anybody can go watch this themselves. Notice the break of light. So they zoom in, highly interested, to make sure that the drone ships and the cloud machines are all working in hand to make sure, look at two distinct points of light. Look how it almost disappears. It's whatever's getting closer and closer to those lenses, which are closer to the Earth, Look at that. Do you see this fakery going on? That's why they got that ground facing camera. So I'm going to fast forward. Look at that. It's really, really bright. And it's moving against the rotation of the Earth, which is exactly the rotation of the. Huh. Wow. So next, look at. Look at this. Anything look normal here? flash of red. Wow. Doesn't that look so similar to the Morphing Sun video I had? Huh. <laughs> That's real time, people. That's I'm not even speeding this up. Why is it flashing? Why is it suddenly turning purple? Where's the purple coming from? That's because there's a purple, red and blue planet in front of the sun eclipsing it now. And look how dark that was. Wow. And then they suddenly flesh off, and let's go back, and this thing appears on the side of the sun again. I mean, look at this intense white, purplish light shining on this thing. Red and purple. Just think of exactly how it sweeps across. You see, first you'll see the red, then you see the white, and then you see the purple. Had enough of that? Okay, let's look at what I caught on my drone footage. on the 23rd exactly what we saw in the sky a narrow beam that passed and swept across right at about 40 minutes after sunset and there was a glow to the left and there was a glow to the right and you, and you could all you could see that flicker and you know what was odd about this? We pan back over. So here's to the other side. And there was a glow on both sides. And it was probably like two or three miles apart. That's about exactly what we saw. <laughs> That's why I kept going back and forth. That was on the ground, people. Wow. How cool is that? 
There you go. And then a little afterglow still remained. Heck, let's look at some other footage. What a semi-normal day on the space station. Let's look at this one. Where's the purple skies now? Why is it not purple? There. And why is the halo there? Get that? You see the halo, right? This dark ring around the sun. This is cotton. One single day. So we watch the sun rise. The space station goes underneath the sun. You can see it. It passes through. And then on sunset. Whoops. That's not the one I wanted to show. Hold on. I'm sorry, but this is what I wanted to show you. The sunrise and sunset. You see where it came up? No red, no purple. And notice many things. That first we're seeing a halo. We see the light and the, on the Earth is very dim because we're on the artificial light of the sun simulator. Once the eclipse is over, and it, of either the red or blue, Kachina, the whole Earth gets lit up again. Look, we can almost see this thing as it passes that. And then this is the same day, within hours. The, the sun, the Earth, the International Space Station moves, and then we're going to watch the setting sun. Watch this. No halo. You see that? Where's the halo? Where's the red? Where's the purple? The, look, see that? You see how different that was than this other footage? Completely no purple, no red. So let me end this. Well, this is a sunset from San Diego I captured myself. Many things to notice in this typical sunset that we all see. And we just get your cell phone out, watch the sunset, and then we watch it set. Lots of things to notice in that. Number one, you guys see that yellow light? That's the color of our true sun. Have you noticed? But once it gets high in the sky, it goes from yellow to pure white. That's because that white center is the sun, fake sun. The heat of the real sun, the infrared heat is still coming from us from the yellow sun while the white fake sun in the middle in this foot video, we see it. And if I would have to follow the sun, it would have been completely white as it went. Anybody can know that, that where, why did the sun turn yellow at sunset, right? That's what we should ask yourself. Remember when you were a kid, you drew a picture of the sun in school. What color did you use? Yellow. It had changed color. It's still there. And it's still there. <laughs> Look at this. So I'm going to leave you with this. I hope you appreciate this video. This is what it looks from the sky. This is what it looks like from the ground. It's getting clearer and clearer what they're doing up there. So please thumb up this video, copy, like, and share. Leave a positive comment, please. Thank you so much.